Hello, my friends. Amy Energy here with a pick a card reading. We are going to do my Cosmic Connections spread today, and I have three piles, 111, 222, and 333. This spread, we're going to explore a connection in your life. It may be romantic. It may not be. So take it how it resonates for you. And let's get into it. All right, reading number one, 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 let's get into it. All right, our affirmation here, we had two affirmations actually come out. We have, I let go of the past, I trust in the future, and I accept the present moment. I am strong enough to face every issue in my life with courage and trust. So those are your two affirmations. And we will keep those in mind here as we move through your reading. Also, we have Jupiter over your reading from the There Are No Coincidences deck by Elisa Kelly. All right, if you are dealing with somebody here, they wanna tell you, I'm sorry for the way I handled things. I have trust issues. All right, from the Airmail Oracle by Sarah Stassi, we have Catch Up. Okay, trying to see where to, you're my guinea pig one on one, see where all I can put all these cards and keep them in view. And protection is over your reading. All right, so I am so excited to expand upon these messages because I feel like there's a lot of expansion in your life one one one. Okay, there could be some challenges with letting go of the past, protecting our energy here, right? Someone could be reaching out from the past. I feel like we're not quite out of uh, Mercury retrograde shadow yet, so we could still have our ghosts coming back, all right? And um, we may need to protect our energy. Okay, but let's go ahead and see what's coming out. Let's get into a connection here for 111. And we'll make sure we get all these energies where they belong. Okay. Current energy of this connection. The lovers. Wow. Okay, one, well, one, one. We've got a love connection here. Yeah. Okay. I feel like, you know, this is looking really good, but I do feel like we're coming into a time where we're going to have to, like, really get serious about like some elephant in the room, addressing something or releasing some burdens here. All right, what is being revealed currently in this relationship, in this connection? Eight of Pentacles. All right, so there's some, definitely some work being done here. Okay, yeah, we're getting justice. We're getting clarity. We're bringing our life into balance here, and we're moving into the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is really beautiful. I feel like we met someone in the past, and things could be moving rather quickly in a into a commitment. Okay, and it could be requiring a lot of... Um, us working on ourselves, but that's, you know, a wonderful thing if it's not, you know what I mean? This just seems natural, like we're growing together, working together here. So this is beautiful energy, 111. I love it. What is the deeper truth here? Knight of Wands. Okay. So... deeper truth here is the knight of wands this is very interesting we're going to clarify these cards as well um but a deeper truth here i mean i feel like there is a burning passion in this connection i mean you could tell that just from the you could maybe tell that just from the communication but maybe there could be just the energy i'm just saying um not trying to rain on a beautiful reading, but 
this seems to me like someone who could be having energy in a lot of different things. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It doesn't mean it's like other people. It doesn't, maybe that's not even bad to you. Maybe this is, you know, the deeper truth here is that we're going to be in an open relationship and this is a really positive thing. I don't know how this judgment's going to resonate for you in your life. Judgment is to me, you know, it's not, it's neither a good or a bad card, but it can be quite intense. It's a big realization about ourselves. So it could be the realization that, um, there's a change of self that would have to happen for this relationship to really blossom or, you know, and, and just, we would either walk away or not, right? Either that's going to work for us or it doesn't. But let's keep going here. Okay, what is the highest potential of this connection? The Ten of Cups. Wow, this is a beautiful love connection. Okay. Yeah, in the past, we were looking really hot, very confident here. And in the current moment, we could be, like, you know, questioning a lot of things. There could be things that we're not quite saying. We're not actually getting the clarity on it because we could be even afraid to kind of bring it up. Not necessarily, like, afraid, but just, like, you know, kind of nervous or not knowing when is the right moment to reveal certain things. But I feel like that's, we're going to work all of this out here in the future okay as we move forward it's gonna you know we're moving i feel like you know we're moving out of the the time of the relationship where it's uncertain and we're going to be moving into the time where we can kind of like really calm down focus on getting to know each other realizing that we're into each other right we both want to expand this relationship Okay, but it's so interesting, the cards that came out for you. Sorry the way I handled things. I have trust issues. That's so interesting to me. So let's keep going. Let's see how this um, keeps resonating. What are outside influences that are affecting this connection? Death. Okay. Justice, Six of Wands, and Five of Swords. So I do feel like there could be an ending for our person here. They could have even been married in the past. Um, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but it just feels like something, it does feel like something like a legal situation or something with them, and they had a victory, but maybe it wasn't as much of a victory as they wanted or... You know, there's just some really bad blood, some bad energy from going through this. Um, because, you know, the Five of Swords winning at all costs, kind of like um, negative. So, like, there could just be, like, the energy of that, like, the negativity of what they have been through in the past deeply showing up here, affecting the connection. Okay. What are the lessons that we came together to learn with this person? Four of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there may have been a time where we had to have a lot of patience with this person. And now we could be coming into a space of healing. It could be difficult to be vulnerable for that reason, right? If we, you know, kind of, if someone left us waiting or we felt like we had to be overly patient. Um, but I feel like there was something that we really gained from that, which was this like strong foundation within ourselves of knowing what we wanted and being really secure, um, and being able to come into this connection now here in the future, maybe it more empowered. I'm not sure. I feel like it could be different for some of you, whether you're in this connection currently or not. Um, but I feel like for some of you, it's coming together here in the near future. And maybe that's why 
if you're not together with this person right now, that would make more sense why they um, are sorry for how they handled things. But I feel, I feel the energy here um, very connected. Let's see here. What are our deepest desires for this connection? For 111. The Three of Swords. So we want to heal from pain. We want to heal from the past. Like we've been through a lot here. Yeah. I feel like even right now we're, we're disappointed. We're still navigating a loss. It's still kind of hard for us to believe that, you know, we can have love after something that we've been through. Right? We might have this might be even something we went through like a while ago because I feel like the page of Pentacles, like we came to peace with this. We started a new beginning here in the past, but still maybe when it comes to love coming to a new connection, it brings up a lot of stuff. But in the future here with the King of Swords, um, I just kind of feel like we are reclaiming our mind from trauma, from things that we've been through okay which is our deepest desire and i do feel like um wow it's just like really heavy it's a really heavy energy but you know we've we've come out the other side i feel like this is definitely past pain and we want someone who's going to be able to hold space for that who's going to understand that and help us heal that and help us create like new pathways of healthy love in our life okay And let's see, advice from our angels. Any additional advice from our angels for 111? Ten of Wands, there's a lot that you're carrying here. And you could be actually coming together with someone here right now in the current moment. It could be something where one or both of you wasn't really sure whether we wanted to come together here in the past, but we could be hearing from someone. And if if not now, we could be just like meeting someone right now and then hearing, like having a lot of communication with them in the future here. But I feel like this is also, um, this could also be not romantic i feel like this um like romance came out throughout this whole thing but for some of you there's also um someone here who can help you someone who you do love uh, that can help you take some things off your plate or you could like work together with them so i kind of see that um being something here that that we're just supposed to be working on and that somehow is relevant to this other connection as well. So interesting. And let me know the changes in this connection within the next two weeks. Okay. Changes happening in this connection within the next two weeks. Page of Swords. So there could be some communication. Someone could be thinking about reaching out to you. They could be feeling regretful about a situation right now with the Ten of Swords here. Um, you may have met this person here in the past. But I definitely feel like in the future here, they're is gonna be a communication and potentially an explanation. Okay, so very interesting. I'm wondering, I was gonna clarify all of the cards, but to be honest, I feel like it's coming out so clear here, but um, I don't want to muck it up, but let's 
Let's just see here. Let's see. I want to see more about sorry for the way I handled things. Why are they sorry about the way that they handled things? Oh boy. I feel like it, it's there was something to do with the timing of the situation that just was not right. Um, they recognized you, but they were unfortunately in a situation where they felt like they were almost, even though this is an error card, I feel like it's, it feels to me like this person was drowning. Um, maybe they were like drowning in their thoughts like they just couldn't put another thing on their plate they didn't have that to give but here in the future in the hierophant coming out i i wouldn't be surprised if like someone's coming in and wanting a committed relationship Okay, it's like, it's just wild, all that major arcana, like, I just can't really read it any other way. Okay, let's see, why do they have trust issues? Why does this person have trust issues? And why do they want, um, 111 to know that? Hmm, they could have, like, family family wounds like yeah in the past they kind of thought their life was going to go a certain way and they had a major tower in their life they're still grieving it and they're still going to be grieving it into the future and that's why you know i feel like this person also knows something with jupiter like this if this connection comes together it's gonna expand so quickly so i do feel like you know, protection is coming out for you for a reason. Um, I feel like this person could be, you know, have that type of protector personality. So I feel like that could be, you know, definitely part of their personality, part of what attracts you to them. But I feel like, you you know, you also have to protect yourself. Um, so with this being a general reading, I'm just throwing that out there because you know you are in a tender space so if someone's got a lot going on as much as we might want it to work you know we have to have a conversation we got to catch up and that's gonna that's gonna determine where it can go from there okay but I feel like it's this is gonna grow very very quickly we've already been dreaming about it I feel like you've been You've been dreaming about it, and it's actually taught you a lot of lessons about dreaming, about believing, about, like, creating a portal and walking through it in your mind. All right, and remember your affirmations here. I let go of the past, I trust in the future, and I accept the present moment, and I am strong enough to face every issue in my life with courage and trust. That is your message, 111. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this reading resonated. And um, there is a link in my description box that will take you to like all the other links for all the other goodies and things that I do and create and got going on. So check out that link. Whatever moment you are in right now, it is a magical moment because you are there. Until we meet again, I love you. Take care. All right, if you chose reading 222, this is for you. Your affirmation here is letting go creates space for me to receive. Okay, letting go creates space for me to receive. Oh, we got Earth coming out from the There Are No Coincidences deck by Elisa Kelly. 
So I really love this earth energy over your reading. I feel like you are getting ready to receive some manifestations for sure here. All right, if you are dealing with someone, if your person had the courage to speak their truth out loud, they would say, I secretly admire you. And they would also say, I am lost without you. Okay. We got here from the Airmail Oracle by Sarah Stasi. Look twice. And fulfillment, a ripe peach for ya. All right, this is going to be a good one. Let's get into it, okay? Wow. Let's see here. Cosmic connections. I have a feeling this is going to be a romance, and there even could be multiple people showing up here for you, two, two, two. I did notice that you got two butterflies on your card. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. What is the current energy of this connection? We have two wanting to come out, the star and the ace of wands. All right, we just need one card. Just give us one card. But we will keep that in mind because that's some good energy. Someone is very attracted to you, 222. Two, two. That's why you got the, the peach. Yeah, it's coming together in divine timing here. Okay, um... Yeah, it's very interesting because there seems to be a lot of attraction, passion, and just so much like juicy goodness in this connection. But in the past here, someone could have been literally just like tired or like doing a lot of processing or healing from something still. So there's like a lot that maybe both of us are having to heal release before we can come together before a connection can come together i'm not even sure at this point if you've met this person yet or if you have not but maybe that we have to let go of a past person here so that this new situation can come together with judgment um, i feel like if you don't know that right now you will be knowing that very, very soon that you are going to have to let go in order to receive something here. Okay, so what is being revealed in this connection? What is being revealed currently in this connection? Five of Cups, there's a loss, there's a disappointment. All right, in the past, this was everything... Uh, everything you wanted. I'm actually hearing a song I haven't heard in years in my head. I'm like, and I can't, I'm not even sure if I remember all the lyrics, but something like, you were everything I wanted. What is that? Something, I don't know. I just can't put together the lyrics of it, but I know it's like, Something's like, I'll still pick my friends over you. It is like the last lyric of it. I'm going to feel so silly. I can't think of that song. I know that I knew that. It's probably when I was in high school. Um, the Eight of Swords here, something has changed from the way that it was in the past. Like, something has changed. And these walls are up maybe on one or both ends of a connection. But I do kind of see a leap of faith happening here in the future. So someone could be coming towards you here, um, just wanting to give you a positive, uplifting message. What is the deeper truth? You know, they may want to start things with you as well, but I feel like they're going to come in very lighthearted with not a lot of um, expectation. All 
All right, what is the deeper truth in this connection? Three of Cups, okay. So there was a very strong attraction here right away in this connection. And now we have the lovers. So, you know, sometimes the lovers is a choice. The Three of Cups is coming out and this person could be making a choice right now in the current moment. And um, the Five of Pentacles here in the future, this is a choice that could, you know, have financial um, consequences, but also, you know, there could be like health consequences. So maybe it's like someone deciding, oh, do I want to leave a marriage and I'll lose out some money. But if you stay in a situation that's like not good for you, you might like lose your good health, right? So yeah. Um, but I feel like someone's Someone could be anticipating a burden here, 222. Someone could be anticipating um, having to tell you something or ha like having to share something with you. So mm, there's something here going on, 222. We might have to clarify that. Okay, what is the highest potential of this connection? That Four of Wands coming out. Oh boy. There's a connection here that I feel like it really is. It really seems like a dream come true, but something about it ain't easy peasy. Okay, what's the highest potential for this connection? Ace of Swords. So really, this connection, I feel like it came together for you to get visibility about something. Okay, because you might have come into this connection very, very open with the Ace of Cups. And then, you know, quickly you're moving into the Strength Energy where I feel like you were just willing to be resilient, you might have found yourself, like, instead of this person becoming a better person to, like, be with you, you might have found yourself, like, being a worse person to be with them or to try to, like, be with them. Like, even if you don't, you know, I don't know. It maybe isn't exactly like that, but I just feel like you immediately started kind of, like, putting up with some type of behavior um, even if it wasn't for long, it was like we, you know, quickly they gave us reason that we had to be resilient. And so now we're in the future, you know, we, we're kind of releasing what hasn't served us. And this was a, a good, um, I feel like this was something that came in and it really showed us a pattern, right? And now we get to choose a new direction. We don't have to go around the same circle. Maybe we can get out of this maze now because it showed us the pattern that maybe we've gotten in before that keeps us from our fulfillment, which is what you deserve. Okay, and if you don't believe that, you better look twice in that mirror and start saying your affirmations. Okay, but let's see the outside influences can, um, affecting this connection. Seven of Wands. This is interesting. I feel like there's some, there, there's like a specific person maybe that this person has, um, you know, a lot of, it's like, it's not like there's conflict with this person, but it's kind of like this person like has control over them in a way. Um, it's, it's like, because they, there was love here in the past. Now with the eight of pentacles, they could still have some type of work that they're doing here together. And, you know, whether it's like, raising a family or some type of, you know, reason why they're still in each other's energy. And I feel like this person just kind of 
bosses them around a lot and they're kind of happy to do it because they loved this person in the past and I feel like they still kind of just have that aspect about them where they're like a helper like they'll lend a helping hand um and they may not be recognizing the toll that this is all taking on them but in the future they will they are going to recognize that in the future okay and um they might be feeling really wounded um because yeah they might have chose someone else over you maybe that's why they're lost without you right and they secretly admire you they can't admire you because they are dealing with a situation with someone who it seems like this person with the seven of like this person keeps their protection up with this person but they still can like pull the puppet strings even though there's not puppets on this card right but i kind of seen it i kind of seen this person like having puppet strings so it's like this person's pulling on your person's there's someone here pulling on their strings right and i don't know who it is maybe it's a boss or a best friend or someone who's in their ear someone who's i don't know um Okay, but yeah, it seems like it could be someone that they loved, though, because that Knight of Cups was coming out. So let's see here. What is the lesson that we came together to learn with this person? All right, we have the Emperor coming out. So, you know, this maybe came together so we could kind of, because I feel like this maybe did help you break free from a cycle, from a situation that you were in okay and maybe you got the benefit from the relationship maybe they're not going to get it they're going to stay in a cycle but you got a new beginning and you're in it right now right and i do kind of feel like new love is coming in for you whether it's this person or whether it's not what you gained the lesson that you gained is knowing what you want what you're going to accept and you know you're just that much better at like saying no to what's not right for you and saying yes to what is but you you know this person i feel like they did show you some some qualities that you really want in a person that really work well with you right so you know you could be looking twice looking three four times at this person and thinking like wow they were really you know a nice match for me Okay, but letting go creates space for me to receive. That was your affirmation. So let's continue. Let's see. What is our deepest desire in this connection? Six of Wands. We want recognition. We want victory. We want success. We want, you know, to, we want this person to acknowledge um, us on their level as well. In the past here that um, we could have been left questioning a lot of things left like we were out in the dark here we might have walked away from them I feel like we walked away and I feel like they're coming in here they want to come in with an optimistic a lighthearted message something nice they're passionate about you maybe they're just saying you want to go on a date or do you want to like start start again what about a fresh start what about a conversation and i feel like this is gonna actually lead to a lot of happiness right um but this is coming up in what you desire right so this might be what we desire in this connection but let's get advice from our angels to see like you know what we really need to know about this connection All right, angels, let us know what else we need to know here. What guidance do we need? Death. Okay, well, 
see, I I feel like this is wow. This is a tough um, reading. I do feel like we have to let go. Like letting go creates space for me to receive is literally your affirmation. So there is something we're letting go of. Um, but it may be something that we've been holding on to longer than we've known a particular person here. So, um, but you know, if your person's involved with someone else, we're also letting them go as well. I definitely feel that. Um, you know, I do kind of get this energy where like, you know, in the past, we were in this King of Swords energy, which makes sense. We were taking a logical approach. We were really, like, having, you know, I don't want to say we were having walls up, but we really knew, you know, we were navigating a situation here like a lawyer. And now in the current moment, we are navigating this situation, like, very prudently, um, very cautiously but also like steady, like maybe waiting and, and even slowing up our plans for someone or something here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I feel like this is such an interesting reading. I am like, you know, this is the one thing why I love one-on-one -on -one readings because then I can ask. I can be like, okay, like, who's who? In here? <laughs> um, because I feel like there's two people here. I feel like your person um, has another person, and I feel like you're waiting on this person, and I kind of feel like that's not necessarily wrong for you. It's not that you're not waiting on them. Um, it's just that you're kind of someone that even if the situation didn't go, um, you know, all that far, I feel like you're just the type of person that it takes a little while to get over something, get comfortable moving on. And I feel like you're going to be moving on, communicating with new people here in the future. And it could be actually difficult. Um, you know, that's kind of what I'm seeing. Sorry, I think I put all these. I put my cards in here upside down. We can't do that. All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm a mess. What card did we even have here for the deeper truth? I picked it up. Lord have mercy. Well, it wanted to be the Wheel of Fortune, I guess. Um, I know that's not what it was before, but that's what it wanted to change to. Okay, so but let's see. What are the changes occurring in this uh, connection within the next two weeks? Okay, I feel like the deeper truth in this connection is definitely changing in the next two weeks. That's why that happened, right? That was not a coincidence. Um, the deeper truth in this connection is changing within the next two weeks. So somebody could be doing some uh, work here. I don't know exactly what's... Okay, okay. Eight of Swords and the Lovers want to come out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reshuffle and pull just one card. But the Lovers and the Eight of Swords coming out to me is just... Means that we're... You know, in the next two weeks, we could still be kind of struggling to come together, but there is, like, togetherness there. So I feel like we could be, you know, still kind of struggling with having some walls, um, but there could be something coming together. But let's see or just, yeah, I feel like there's some positive communication but there was something here that really, you know, hit us kind of in the self-esteem here in the past. So I feel like someone's coming in. They want to kind of work, work it out, build a foundation, work together here. And, um, you know, I feel like a sense of somebody wanting to build like a kind of creative 
different type of relationship. Like, you can't really say what type of relationship it is. Um, you know, it's not something that they that you might have seen before. It's not like always the, you know, even though the pentacles can be very traditional, I feel like this person wants to create something that's maybe has some traditional aspects, but is your own type of thing that works for you. And I kind of see whatever this is, it like works. We're moving into a space here in the future where, you know, we're less um, worried about something here. So, wow, this, um, this situation is all over the place. I feel like there's a situation here that we may have to look twice at because it could look it, there could be a situation that looks shadier than it is. Okay, that's my bottom conclusion here because that's what it's really coming out. I feel like somebody here, um, you know, you're they're coming in within the next two weeks with some positive communication. And I feel like something here could feel a lot more devastating than it is. So I'm not sure if we are going to be willing you know, but I feel like right now the work for you is to release everything in your life from your past that's not serving you. That way, whenever this person does come in, you're going to be able to just really assess where you're at with it, look twice at the situation and make a good decision and make the decision that's going to be fulfilling to you because that's really what matters. If something's going to fulfill you, go for it. Right, and we don't ever get any guarantees in life or in love, but you know, um, choose fulfillment, but really be honest with yourself, right? Don't choose, you know, temporary fulfillment in an unsustainable situation or something like, you know, if something is really devastating to you and gonna hurt you. But this kind of seems to me like there could be, right? It's a general reading, but it seems to me like there could be a situation that's just like confusing and we may not have all the information so look twice all right but i'm gonna leave it there for you two 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 whatever moment you are in it is a magical moment because you are there check out the link in the description box below until we meet again i love you take care if you chose three 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 this reading is for you your affirmation is the universe is always helping me sometimes in unexpected ways all right we also had oh two cards wanted to come out for you from Eliza Kelly's there are no coincidences manifestation deck we got Venus and fog so wow I definitely feel like there is a magical very magical connection that we are going to be exploring today. I am excited. Okay, the fog could mean there is some confusion, so we'll see what comes out. Your person, if they have the courage to speak their truth out loud, they would say, you're on my mind the most. I am seeking revenge, and I miss being around you. Okay, so real confusing. I thought it might be with fog coming out, so I'm not surprised to see the... Um, bit of confusing energy but we'll we will get clarity okay from the airmail oracle by sarah stassi we have rise again okay and from the sacred destiny oracle we have openness all right well let's go ahead and dig in because this is going to be a good one. I can tell you that much. Okay, I already am speechless. I feel like there could be someone from the past. And I also kind of feel like it's, it's kind of messy, but we're also wanting to be very open in this moment. So you're going to have to take this one how it resonates. Now use your own intuition because this is just a general reading. If you want to book a personal, there is a link in the description box below. I do offer tarot and astrology readings over Zoom or over the phone. All right, but let's get the current energy of this connection for 333. 
All right, three, three, three. Current energy of this connection is the two of swords. So yeah, there's a decision to be made here. In the past, there was a disappointment. And one or both of us is thinking on this very, very heavily in the in the uh, current energy. And Page of Wands here in the future, I feel like, you know, in the future, we're either moving on independently on a new magical journey or, you know, someone's coming in here with a small little passionate offer. But we're gonna we're gonna see how it all unfolds. All right, what is being revealed currently in this connection? All right, Page of Pentacles. So someone could be a student. Okay, oh my goodness. Look at this. So we could be just starting out and I mean, I feel like one of you knew before the other, like one of you like saw the other one and was like, that is my person. And I feel like there's just like, this was inevitable to come together and will come together here in the future or like, or it's going to be the one that got away. Like this is someone who's really left an impact. This is someone who we can see making a big difference in our life. So, okay. What is the deeper truth here? Well, I knew it was going to be a, a reading when Venus and fog came out and everybody else only got one card but two wanted to come out for you and I didn't know what two they were when I pulled them but yep look at that king of cups king of pentacles so the deeper truth here is whoa knight of wands ten of cups queen of swords what in the world is this three 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 I feel like your person has two different sides to them and it's not a bad thing it's actually a great thing these are two wonderful kings we got the king of cups the king of pentacles no gender associated with these cards but this person is going after you know their money stability good health for themselves maybe a family and the king of cups is you know someone who wants to heal all right, um, but I'm actually gonna re-pull because I only wanna pull one card at a time. But I kind of feel like the deeper truth is also that somebody has multiple people around them, or maybe both of you do. And that could be part of why it's hard to make a decision. It's hard to make a decision when you're around a lot of people, you know? It's like, if you really wanna date seriously to date to um, find a partner, I mean, unless, of course, unless you are polyamorous, which there's nothing wrong with that. But, um, you know, I just feel like if you should date one person at a time, get to know one person at a time, see if that person is your person, if you're looking for a monogamous partner. Okay, so, yeah, deeper truth here, page of swords, like, I feel like things are a little bit different than what we think they are. You know, the deeper truth is someone here is, I just, I don't know. It's almost like this. I gotta clarify this Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Chariot. 
I feel like there is something here that someone doesn't want to tell you because they think that you're gonna, like, leave them. They think that you won't accept something about them if they tell you. And they felt a lot of love in your energy here. In the past, you might have held a lot of space for somebody with this Queen of Cups. But the sun here in the current energy, so right now I feel like someone's having a major realization about you, okay? And you could, they could be thinking they want to come in towards you because they're seeing you in this beautiful energy here of the sun. They're having this realization that you could make them so happy because that, you know, they remember all of the things that you did for them in the past. Maybe it was recent or far um, they're getting clarity, but you may not want to accept their offer. Okay. I feel like the cards are saying openness came out for you. There is something, there's something here for some of you. Okay. So only take this if it really resonates for you. Okay. And if it, yeah, because. I wouldn't normally say something coming back is, is positive, but I feel like maybe this is something that never started. It stayed in this two of swords. Like, do we want to, do we not? Okay. What's the highest potential of this connection? Two of wands. It's not necessarily a bad energy to have the two of wands, but this is the highest potential of the connection for right now and so I do feel like this connection does take some time we have to kind of really align with one another and be determined to make it work because there was already a conflict here in the past okay whether it was a conflict we went through together or conflicts that we both went through separately um you know, there's things here that we need to find our own way through. And I do kind of feel this energy like this is going to be a type of connection. Like both you and this person could have like very untraditional type of um, values. But I feel like also at the same time, you both want the same parts of the traditional things. Right, I feel like you like like the Queen of Pentacles stuff, like you want to have a nice house and good food on the table. And I kind of feel like there is a lot of potential in this connection because we kind of want the same things. We have um we have a personality. I feel like both of us have a dynamic personality with like two different sides to it. Um and so it's like because of that, it could be really difficult for both of us to even find a person who meshes well and can hold space for both sides of us. And I feel that together we find this just like very rare gem. So I kind of think that this is kind of really beautiful. All right, um, what are the outside influences affecting this connection? Page of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like there could be someone who has another person in their energy. I don't know what exactly this is. Um, truthfully, uh, I truthfully don't, but I just feel like you're kind of getting a whiff of something here with the high priestess and the current energy. And it is, there is something that this person isn't um, sharing with you, okay? So in the past, you might've come together with this person thinking, wow, this is like the one for me. And then you started kind of picking up some things here with the high priestess psychically. Um, and the wheel of fortune here in the future. So 
So why is the Six of Wands here? Four of Swords. So I feel like there was some lessons learned here in the past, but also at the same time, we were still like in the process of learning these lessons and moving on from something, right? So we had a victory or this person had a victory, but was still processing everything. It's almost like, you know, maybe I'm over my ex, but I'm not over their relationship, right? Or what, what happened to me. Yeah, but ooh, right now, something big is is going on with this person right now. And I feel like they are not, they're maybe like not trying to tell you about it, the whole thing. They could be trying to, I don't even know if you're in contact with this person, but right now they're really going through something that you, I feel like you can feel it on some level. Like... If you are talking to this person, I feel like they would tell you like, oh, things are like fine, but you would like notice less communication just because they're really dealing with something. And I kind of feel like this is, it's kind of unknown at this point if this person's going to get off of a karmic wheel or if they're going to stay on it. So that's part, that's what's influencing this connection. That's quite intense. Okay, and it doesn't have to be like another relationship, but it could be anything, um, you know, in their life that's kind of, you know, that would impact the connection, right? So even if they were like a workaholic or if they, you know, just, I'm not sure exactly what that could be, but um, let's see, what is the lesson that we came together to learn with this person? Ten of Pentacles in the Hierophant. So, wow. Um, I'm going to reshuffle because two cards, I just want one. But taking that into consideration, still I feel like someone here showed you exactly what you want. You maybe didn't know, but yeah, they showed you. They put a mirror up, or not a mirror, but they like, gave you really good information, solid information about what you also needed to release from your own past to move towards a healthy connection. So this was something really valuable and it's going to make you be able to be more open and honest in the future because you learned things, right? Not to say you were a liar and now you're being honest. It's like you weren't honest about things because you weren't aware of them and this uh, connection made you aware of some things and um, you really know what you want now, whether it's going to be this person or not. Um, I feel like it's something to be really grateful for. There was magic afoot with the day that we met this person. Okay, our deepest desire here with the Four of Swords is, I feel like, to heal, to um, have comfort, to rest with someone. I feel like we really want someone to rest with. Okay, I feel like we already know what we want. We know the legacy that we want right now with the Three of Cups in the current moment. I feel like we're just trying to open up to abundance in our life and, you know, have good times with good people around us. And, you know, I kind of see us coming into a time where, you know, yeah, maybe we're not so happy exactly with where we're at in life, but we're really taking the time to examine, you know, what little tweaks we need to make to get there. And, and also realizing how far we did come. Seven out of 10 is pretty good. You know, we're more than halfway there. All right, what um, messages from our angels? What extra guidance do our angels wanna put in on this reading. The star, wow.
So there is a situation here, 333, in your life where, you know, you're not seeing things 100% clearly and you are going to be dropping these burdens here in the future. But, you know, right now I feel like we could be in confusion over some actions that we took in the past um, where we're here, like, defending ourselves, standing up for ourselves. All right, that's a good thing. You should always stand up for yourself. But I kind of feel like, in a sense, it, it's made us question certain things, like what would have happened had, had I not, or this and that. But, you know, it's, it's wonderful for you to just be you, be open, honest, vulnerable. And um, anyone who's for you, meant for you, is going to love everything they see. Right, or they're gonna love the other things enough that they're gonna, you know, lovingly bring up the thing that's a problem for them and make it a them thing, not a you thing, because, you know, the person who's meant for you, they're gonna really appreciate who you are, your soul. Okay, so they're not gonna hold you harshly. Um, you know, and some people do because they're hurt but I mean if you're taking time to be open and honest with them then it shouldn't be happening now if you're not being open and honest that's a different thing but your guides are saying you are and keep doing it and if someone's intimidated by your openness then that's a good sign they're not the one for you but rise again because someone out there is the one someone's gonna love you for that openness Okay, and the Seven of Cups is here. So changes in this situation in the next two weeks. There's still a lot of confusion here in the next two weeks within this particular connection. Okay, I feel like, you know, in the past, there was an argument, a fight, someone took off. Some, and um, in the current moment, there could be someone wanting to reach out, wanting to work through things but I kind of do feel like it's just moving into the same scenario same situation of us um, kind of feeling a little stuck and feeling like we are confused and you know not sure how we're proceeding forward but for some of you this is gonna be a good thing right we got Venus and fog here like you know, maybe there are some aspects where, you know, we do need a perspective change here. Okay, so, you know, I just, I feel like rise again is here, openness is here, so it is time to rise again, whatever you've been through here in the past, it is in the past, and even though, you know, yeah, it can still come up in the present. We can be triggered. Um, I feel like that's just why it's, you know, even more important to have these open conversations and take that time to heal, right? Because your deepest desire here is to heal with, with your person. Um, but you can start on your own and then the right person is going to come in and join you. Okay, so I'm sorry. I knew I wasn't going to be able to provide full clarity when fog is here, but what I can tell you reading 333 is that follow magic, be open to love always, and um, respond from always from a place of love instead of fear, but still use your intuition. Um, don't be afraid to ask for time on any decisions that you have to make. And, um, you know, in general, I don't always recommend going back to people from the past, but this is your life, and sometimes there's always exceptions in any, you know, there's no hard and fast rules. Um, so I don't know what happened here, but I do kind of feel like in this situation with this person, um, you know, we do want to be open-minded, but at the same time, we got to be kind of real because even in two weeks we're still in a confusion state 
So, um, you know, I kind of feel like for some of you, this is going to be worth it, but something to be aware of could be this person could be just a little bit selfish, which that doesn't mean anything bad. It just means you got to be selfish because you can't, you know, be pouring into someone who's not given the same. But, um, yeah, anyways, I just want to, <laughs> I'm like trying to put a couple warnings in there because I don't want to tell, give anyone, um, advice that could harm their life. But of course, like, you know, don't, don't use this to direct your life because this is a general reading. So honestly, um, if you really have like a big decision in your life, you should, uh, you know, book a personal reading or just listen to your own intuition and make the best decision for you. Um, but definitely, um, if you want to book a personal reading, there is a link in my bio. I'm going to just go ahead and leave it right here, reading 333. Leave me a comment if it resonated. Um, check out the link in the description box. Whatever moment you are in right now, know it is a magical moment because you are there. Until we meet again, I love you. Take care.